really lean towards. They played it back in Summit, they lost it to Fnatic, and other than that, we have nothing to go off. So FaZe, time to bring the heat here onto Inferno. Nuke wasn't quite their forte. Yo. Y'all knew it was coming. <laughs> oh dear. Goosh is in. Nico, landing it on to Frozen. We're well into our pistol round here. Now, has Kiabi's head been photoshopped on there? It definitely looks well, like it. When you see him alongside all of the other FaZe players, like they're all very pale and Kiabi's the only tanned man in the mix. I don't know. You know, I noticed that earlier when they all came up on the screen. Interesting thing to notice. <laughs> yeah. Like, right off the top of your head, of course. Well, he was standing in the middle, you know. He's... Ooh, bit of a nasty surprise there for Rops down in the pit. And this A site, it's not, it's not done well, has it? It's not done well. It has been broken apart immediately. And this is a save. So if you guys loved watching <laughs> save rounds on Nuke, then boy, have I got the game for you. But don't worry, Harry. It's not like we just casted an Inferno that went the distance that pretty much had like every save possible in every round possible. And then Nuke as well, yeah. That's my issue with Inferno, right? Like, I don't know what the fix is. I don't know what the solution is. I don't think it's even a problem with the map. It's just how it's played. And especially at this level, when you're making these gambles, well, you know, sometimes. What's your What's your favorite map? Not to play, okay, but to cast, Hugo. Ooh. I do need an answer, yeah, preferably I, I, before the round. I would say Nuke, oh. right? Like, that game of Nuke was weird, but Nuke, I think, yeah. is, is, is honestly my favorite map to play and cast. Like, I think it's the best map in Counter-Strike right now. I think that's kind of funny considering its history and the hate towards it at times, uh, obviously years ago, right? And I feel it, like a wrong. CS hipster. No, I don't think that's a hipster opinion. I think Nuke is the best map right now. I, I honestly think you get the most competitive games. You get some of the most exciting rounds. Uh, there's so much you can do, and Astralis have very much helped define like the meta on that map, and, and it's yeah. become so much more tactical. No, man, you, you got me on side. Yeah, why? What got about me down you? For Nuke Are you going to well. Vertigo? No, man, I'm a CS hipster personally, so I'm going to say That would Nuke. be Vertigo, I think, if you're... I don't... No, man, because that's like brand new. I say brand new. It's like man, hips is old. pretty old. But uh, here's the top mid play. And well... This is where things are going to end up here for FaZe. They slow it right down as they often do. Frozen is lining up a nade here to try and establish some presence at top banana. Psych. Kirby's like, lol, you think I was that deep? Nah. He goes back down towards the base of banana. Well... And I throw these nades into the A site. Carrigan trying to hold this long angle with the scout. Oh, the timing. The timing couldn't be worse. He was just there. Now he's posted up again, but they duck beneath the scout and they start to wrap into CT to hunt him down. Carrigan is trying to run just to stay alive. And he does get away. He somehow lived to tell the tale. Now with CT being given over to FaZe though, Bit of an unorthodox area of the map to just grab and play around, but you see the benefits of it. You know, you, you don't allow for rotations and you kind of keep Mao's guessing as to where this play is even aiming for. And well, if you loved saving, this is another save here for Mao Sports. Oh dear. We need a save button. I don't know, or, or a sound effect. Maybe Trace can get on that. A save sound effect? What would that sound like? Like Wasn't a cash instant? register? Oh. Yeah. Exactly. Well, save indeed with five alive on the phase side. Mouse Sports will hold on to what is a little bit of armor, a kit, a scout, and two deagles. Bit of a sad save, isn't it? Yeah. It's rather underwhelming. A good start for FaZe on this map, right? Not going down 0-9 like Nuke was. And already some some smiley faces shown. So FaZe clearly not too uh, disturbed by the previous map. Carrigan there. Series after has a little picture of himself on the desk. I didn't see. We get Carrigan back on the screen. No. 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 That's the answer. Time, 
We might see him in this round. He's got the scout out, the big gun for Miles Sports. He's taking it towards middle, but oh dear, naded on the Ow. cross and shot as well. He'll somehow live, I don't really know, but gets out of there alive. Again, a nade on Frozen to pop down B, but he gets the favor returned and his nade was too short. Faye's putting a lot of pressure on middle in these rounds. They've left Kiebi lurking logs on his own. Boost up for Carrigan. Oh dear. The worry about this is the second phase realized they're going to shoot the bottom player out from below. And knowing Carrigan will fall into that spray as well could be a two for O. Oh, but. Well, that's the score right now. Phase to extend it as they move into A. Carrigan's gone. Rain with the spray. And it's a crossfire from the pit to the site. But that really shouldn't be too much for Phase to collapse onto. Yeah, some flashes thrown up B by Kirby. That keeps those two players there. B mass here all alone. You'll note the B players haven't even moved, and that's because they're already planning to save. And so guess how this round ends. Um, I'm going to go with mouse sports. Save for a thousand. <laughs> Let's see, Trace. And that little red line up at the top reaches the other not so red line. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's all confirmed. It's all locked in. Mouse sports, they're saving again. I like how methodical FaZe have been on this T side so far, right? They're not... Mouseports obviously don't have the weapons, so they're giving the mid control pretty freely. And FaZe don't, like, run up short, run up long necessarily. They, they're setting up, they're lining up smokes. Kiebi's throwing nades on B to keep players on this side of the map. That's why Mouseports are saving, right? If they knew it was A for sure, they, they would... BA rather than just holding on to Deagles at B. But yeah, Kiebi selling that fake well. It's something Mouseports haven't figured out. Once they do, we might, especially with guns, we might start to see a bit of banana control getting taken, get Kiebi out of that position. And the familiarity plays a, plays a part as well. When you know Kiebi's doing that lurk, when you kill Kiebi and B, you can often go, okay, it's clear, right? Like we know that's clear. We know it's an A play now because Kiebi's here on his own. And so things like that are, are things that Carrigan can use to his advantage. Right now, Kiebi, again, back up Banana with Nico. The nade is a pretty nice dunk. And our sports have shown a lot of interest in buying up this utility, even in these eco rounds towards B. So they've got plenty more where that came from. This time though, FaZe, Everyone here except Cold Zero moving into a quick B hit. We're going to need those mollies down from Chris. Oh, buddy. Yeah, he's re-smoked the top of Banana as though Mouse wanted to try and retake it. And the, the timing on that just couldn't have been worse. Only Frozen here at this side of the map. And Mouse are going to start to rotate players around as they hear that bomb plant come in. You hate to say it. <laughs> But it might have to, and I'm... And I'm <laughs> what on earth? It might have to be like a save. It might just be a save here from Mouseport. No. Oh, man. What a shocker. I know I hate the spoilers too, guys, but... Oh, dear man, I don't Lannisters know. Lannisters are on the throne at the end of Game of Thrones. Yeah. You, okay. So here's my here's my I don't have I don't have a solution for this, but here's my theorized solution. It's fixing the money. Right? Like, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Yeah. It's Why fixing the money that? in Counter Strike. That's the biggest bore right now, I would say. It's the economy system. It needs a refreshing. As much as we talk about like maps and stuff, and for sure there are, there are plenty of arguments that, that we could love a new active pool or just anything different, but I would love an economy switch up. Honestly, like, don't really care what it is at this point. Just give us something new. But. Yeah, the city side economy does get boring at times. We've already talked about, you know, especially when the Krieg was at its peak, when T's buying the second round and, and not knowing who won the pistol because of the buys that you see. So, <clears throat> there's been no kills in the Mouseport side, which means no one has died from the FaZe Clan side, and we're no. on round number five. Yeah, this is a very weird game right now. A lot of saving going on. Well, Miles, they, they were geared with three towards B earlier on here. We do just need like that first kill to come in and they leave Carrigan to hold B solo. Now, if a B play comes in and Carrigan can't get a kill. <laughs> what happens, Harry? Well, There's a chance I think, they save. I think we all know how these scriptures were written there. Scriptures? Yep. 
scriptures. Not to be confused with the scripting. No, nope. uh, two different things. Or the raptures, or any nope. of the yep. scriptures. Raptures, that's, uh, that's Seth Rogen film. Yeah. No. Well, it is going to be a B play. So... Saves Carrigan, he's got to try and hold the line here. He's going to drop this smoke, and that buys a bit more time for this rotation from Chris. Oh, there's the man in question. Carrigan posted up at the pillar. Four deep here for the side of FaZe Clan, and they're ready to hit it. Yeah, Rain's just faking this A site, and he's kept three players here. He's done a great job, and, and even then, like, Chris J wasn't convinced to rotate. He was playing CT, so Carrigan has got to hold his ground here. Back of the site, behind the pillar, a player has gotten by into pool, but Carrigan, oh, oh a hey. third, Carrigan coming alive, Rain will get the better of him on that very late rotation round, but no saving in this one for Maus as they gear up for a four on two retake. They said it couldn't be done, they said it would never happen, but a retake round for Maus Sports, they're going for it through thick and through thin. Rain tapping back towards the spawn. He'll not do anything. Rosen gets shot by BMAS in the back, and they're going to uh, swarm in through the ruins. Brokey, he's holding down from Coffin's side. He's got this angle perfect headshot hit. Rain follows up through the wall, looking for the spray. Reload off, and the peak is late from Rops. He can't stop him as he gets towards the back of the site. There's no time. There's no utility, and they're not even on the bomb either. This is a one round for FaZe. Even if the kills come through, Rops, he gets it, but it's just too, too close. It's a round for FaZe, whether he likes it or not. A two on four at the back of the B bomb site and a fifth in a row for FaZe. Lovely stuff. Yet to lose a player coming into that round. Carrigan puts up a, a beautiful hold on B with three kills on the Orb. He does everything he needs to and more and Mousesports are not able to get there in time. So the fan cams had a guy with a long sleeve and a short I sleeve t-shirt at the same time. That's pretty next level, man. Wow. That's, that's like having, you know, a deagle and an orb, you know, like you got, I don't know where I'm going with that. I tried to make the link off. There's something the there, but it's yeah, real Give you reach. A couple of rounds. It's like, yeah, man, I'll, I'll come back to it. Hopefully we have him on the line for the post game interview. Yeah, we can get him on here, yeah. Ooh. Oh, Nico and Cold opening this round up. Yeah, this is a no contest so far. Mouseport's getting washed it's five to zero. And you can see what they're doing. This is the right call, but unfortunately, it might be a bad situation. They're sta <laughs> stacking a site. They're gambling. What's what a bad situation to code for, Hugo? A save. Because if FaZe walk <laughs> into B right now, they win the round just by position alone. And mouse boards, I'll let them take it. They have nothing to do. No way to stop it. Good kill from Carrigan. Do they get tempted? Do they want to rotate round? But they already hear the utility. This is it. It's a save. Well... If you needed, uh, you know, bathroom break, if you want to go get a drink, go now, because you're not going to miss any action in the next 60 seconds or so, because this is FaZe clearing out the MTB bomb site and planting that bomb and waiting out the bomb. That's what and we're going to do too, is wait it out. Bomb has been planted. Add it to the list, boys. Check another day of prison off onto the wall with your chalk. Prison. Yeah, for mouse sports, man. They're just trapped in the apartments. They can't do anything. They can't leave. I mean, that's the thing. We always say an El Clasico such as this could give us some exhilarating gameplay. Yeah, the El Clasico. All of the El Clasicos. Moving forward, I'd love to see Mouse try and enact some more banana control. They've, they've, you know, won... I was going to say they won their first round, but they didn't win a round. It was Carrigan locking down Beer. There was the one round they could have won uh, where he gets three. And that's nice, but you can't rely on that every single time. And Phase's spacing will probably be different next B hit, especially when the AWP is there. So, Mouse, yeah, banana, utility, get control, keep Phase out. Three there early, rotate back, standard Inferno CT side stuff, but they've not really had banana phase of what had it whenever they wanted it in the mid round. Love to see Carrigan post up towards a car with the AWP, but I understand why you want to play safe right now. But at this scoreline, playing safe is getting you caught in the wrong place. Carrigan on A. I like the angle. He's waiting for phase to walk into the bench, but 
No one coming through. They're setting up mid utility. It will be an A crunch by the looks of things. So finally, Maus have three players on the right side. BMAS has been cut off. He's gone back towards Archway. Does Nico want to wrap CT again? FaZe have taken the spawn control, but Nico's going right through the smoke. Hold out the apps. Karen's blinded. Robs with the opening kill. The spam is good, but it won't finish the job. Nico will, however, before he's dropped from the pit. Rops has stood the test of time here, and he's even dropped the bomb up in the apartments. They've got to deal with him. They first try and find BMAS in the rotation. Still two players moving in, and Brokey does get broken down. Cold Zera solidifying that kill, but it's the fact that that bomb is dropped up on the balcony that's going to cause him so many problems. Moto Smoke goes in, and that there gives him the timing to retrieve the bomb, but I'm sure that Rops has communicated that the bomb wow. is up on apps. He's got it. Cold Zera, fastest, longest arms in the West, they say. And now, oh dear, he's going close to the Moto Smoke. Frozen and Chris J on the other side. And down goes Frozen. But there's Chris with the trade. The immediate reload for Cold Zera is the green light for Chris. And now Sports, they finally get a first round on the board. That's one way of picking the bomb back up. I've never seen anyone try that, but yeah, it's on the edge. And so all he needs to do is jump near it and it, it magnets to his body. Nice try in the 1v2. He, he had a really good shot at getting that done, but Chris being so close to trade and combined with the fact that he had no ammo, that's his uh, destiny. That's his death. And now it's Mouseports finding their first. It comes at a cost though, down to one. Carrigan does have that AWP again, at least. There's the triple B to take control to throw grenades. Kiebi expects it. He won't go there early. Deep smoke, though. He goes right through. Kiebi not waiting around. Mouseports, they missed their opportunity with that re-smoke. Frozen getting bullied by grenades. And Carrigan, same story, has to back up. Boost his teammate onto the wall. Molly at the top of B. Phase methodical is the word I go back to. It was the same on the A site with some of these execute smokes in middle in the first few rounds. Or well, now on B, they're just clearing out every single spot, using great utility, doing damage, taking control, keeping Mouseports passive. And we've seen Mouseports attempt to retake Banana, but that has come at a cost. Smokes from T-Spawn into CT. I like that from FaZe. It might keep Mouseports here as they set up for a quick A attack. Yeah, that's something that FaZe have been really good at. Not only have they found a succession of rounds, but they've kept Mouse Sports from wanting to try to poke and prod and get information and, and really take the confidence, the courage right out from underneath Mouse Sports. Here we go. The hit is on, though. Cold Zero is going to be the first one to drop out. And by that, I mean he's out of the round. The first, I, I guess, casualty, if you will. Nico Caribbean, you're going to even it up a little bit. And it smells like a save. Could be on the cards. We're going to find out here any second, though. Keep an eye on those mouse sports icons, those two blue CT icons. Yep, what do you know? They're going to run back towards the B site and another round for phase seven to one. But at least they're shooting back now, so we have that for us. Yeah, this has got to be such a, a rough game to, to have to call for Carrigan here, right? Like, what can you even what can you even do if you're losing these first two fights because of FaZe's spacing and the fact they're committing is like four or five and their fake smokes are good as well. They're keeping mouse boards on B again as they often have been. And so when FaZe commit, it's like, th you know, three running up uh, short, one jumping out of, uh, out of apps as well, one late lurking long. And so mouse boards need uh, every one of their players to get a kill before they die, or it's just done, or it's already over, and Mouseports know it because of how Inferno plays, right? You get that motor smoke down, you cycle it, and there's no way for Mouseports back in. Or for Carrigan again. We've had the buys for Mouseports, we've had plenty of opportunities, but they've just not been able to do it. And you make a good point, Trace, about Mouseports being unable to prod and poke back a banana. That continues to be an issue. Nice grenade. Kebby's already up and past, though. Mouseboard should be ready for that. Rops, he's had enough of waiting around. He's had enough of saving today. He's going to push the perimeter. One round, phase off, very passive. Brokey's still in T-spawn. Oh dear, if Rops looks left, his barrel could give him away, depending how wide Brokey is. Oh, he sees him. He knows he's deep at least. Rops is still going to kill Rain, though, and he's at least done his job. Can he find a second? The orb supports. Carrigan with another. Rops does die, but Carrigan trades. And this is more what I wanted to see from Mouse Sports, bringing the fight to FaZe. Even on this slow passive default where Brokey gets the info, FaZe lose the fight. And it's down to Cold and Kierby on different sides of the map. Yeah, they are worlds apart right now. 
cold continuing into this A site. Eventually, one of them is to go back to get the bomb. And I guess that's going to fall to Kirby. You see him making his way there now. It looks like Cole wants to try and wrap CT, but Carrigan is just homed in on this angle. Cole trying to bait the shot. There's the swing. Doesn't need to bait a thing as he takes the head off of Carrigan. It's going to be an A play. BMAS down here in the pit. He's got to put up quite the hold if he wants to keep Maus in this round. Kirby up through short side, bested by Bimas. The time now becomes a problem for Cold Zera, who needs to deal with this pit player and get that bomb down with just 15 seconds left. The Molotov misses, and that is heartbreak for Cold Zera. Bimas in with the peak at Mouse Sports. They'll take a second, slowly but surely. Slowly indeed, <laughs> with how these rounds are being stretched out by FaZe. And yeah, that one falls apart a little bit. It's, it's more chaotic as Robs gets spotted. It's conned, but he still kills Rain in, in ult and Carrigan doubles up with the orb. That happens in five seconds from the first to Carrigan's second kill. So FaZe are immediately left at a big disadvantage. Nice shot again. Carrigan opening up. Rain first to fall once more. Phase. Now they got to patch a wound. Now they got to find something as they move back up middle. Kierby still has top B. He's moving, uh, moved through, smoking uh, uh, Mouseports' Molotov. So he has a lot of control. Nades on long. Lovely stuff. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Carrigan is more uh, far out to the left. He's got a double setup on long with Rop's cubby side as well. Phase, they have been smoking long in the past, and that will need to continue if they want to take mid without heavy casualties. And of course, at any point, you can just go back to B and almost be guaranteed a four on two, knowing that Mouse Sports are not going to be running any kind of weird gambles in this round with an early advantage. You can flash into middle, here's the boost. And there it is. <laughs> yeah, this one's falling apart of the seams for FaZe Clan. On the back of the info that Rob's got, Carrigan early rotates to B, and now Rops is going to join him. Oh dear. All right, Frozen. A little bit of a love tap to Chris <laughs> J. And now trying to hold the site, ducking down beneath, but that nade should find good damage into the pool. Chris offers up another. I'm going to follow it up with two. There's drops to round the round out. And now Sports, they make it a third with four players staying alive. Slowly but surely recovering here. Only man still having a rough game is Frozen, but he, of course, got his first taste of damage there in that round. <laughs> You get an assist for that. <laughs> Maybe he can direct his uh, his aggression more onto the enemy than teammates. Trigger happy, perhaps. Don't blame him. He's not seen anyone having to save all game long. Carrying him back to his same antics down middle, looking for a deep warp angle. Good grenade. Oh, okay. Smoke, he gets bullied. Phase. You can see how wary they are of this alt aggression as well, with both Rain and Cold holding on to the same line. Roki lining up top B flashes to pop Kierby back into position. He's not got many kills, but Kierby's had a lot of value from his position in this game. Can be thankless at times and dying for the cause, but keeping our sports on B. And that's what he'll do again. He's got the utility for it, at least in the late round. Now Sports, oh, they're going to lose long. Smoked off in the middle. Carrigan tries to patch the wound with a grenade. Oh, dear, Broken could die here. Kaboom. Yep, sure will. That'll be the bomb dropped, but ultimately recovered. So not a big loss there, other than the fact that Brokey's out of the round. Four versus five. Nico picks up the bomb, and now they need to refocus, recenter. And with that, Rain has found himself some library presence. Even Arch at that. And that's going to give him a little bit of headway. Maybe he could make something out of it. Yep, oh. the one tap, the two tap. That's all it takes. Eventually, Kerrigan will respond with an AWP kill. Woo! To make it two. That's the bomb down inside of the A site. Now what's left of Phase Clan is going to try to recover it in the form of KRB and Cold Zera, which is going to be met with stiff resistance. Bemis on the case. Cold Zera responds for one, but now... Now oh. things get a little weird. Time has gotten down, and well, Cold Zero is going to have to get down with his bomb plan. He's going to try to stick it and just barely. Are they able to stop him? Chris J 
in the form of an M4A1S have stopped the plant. Aragon with a zoom banger, man. He is absolutely mauling them right now. He's very quick on this gun. It's been a while since we've seen him in the primary orping role, but he's tending to it very well indeed. I did see that photo. Yeah, I love it, man. People people often have like little photos, you know, like they put someone there that, that means a lot to them or that, you know, can give them guidance. And Carrigan put the smartest man he knows on his desk. <laughs> Picture of you. Picture of him. Oh. Oh, yeah, absolutely. When he needs help, he looks to guidance in the Carrigan photo. What would Carrigan do? That's what he asks himself. WWE KD. Nothing to do with a kill differential. It's just, uh, it's, it's like the Simpsons meme where you have um, the, the sign Homer has on his desk that says, remember, you're here forever. You know, Carrigan sees his face, remembers that he's here forever playing online games. And there are a lot more to come. I didn't know Grim was in the server. Because that was bleak. <laughs> Gave it a go, didn't I? Yeah, it was a crack at it. It's hard to do memes and words, but uh, yeah, we tried it. We I mean, I barely get them out as it is. So, nonetheless, the skirmish ensues. And so far, it's looking good here inside of phase. Start to eliminate some of the problems here. The weapons that were never really in the hands of mouse boards. Oh no, Carrigan trying to readjust, getting pressured. There's a lot of bodies here. Oh, yeah. And another missed shot. That there is his death certificate signed. Brokey going to be the uh, the one to put the nail in the coffin. Chris J trying to do what he can. Phase though, far from sweating bullets right now. Flashback in and Chris J now down in the pool, still Ooh, fighting. Okay. Chris J absolutely lighting them up. And Brokey finds himself trapped. He does run the gauntlet and grab that bomb. And while this has happened, Cold Zera has taken the A-bomb site. So now Mouse Sports are rotating back in, but with Cold already very, very deep in the library. And if you're Mouse, there is no way you could know about this. Cold could lock this whole round in, but Mouse, they've dodged him. They've wrapped around through short. And so now, while Cold has the element of surprise, the longer this bomb ticks away, the more, the, the more they can consider that a player could have pushed long. This is still very unlikely, though. And so this position could come back to bail phase out later in the round. Rops, he sees the leg, wow. then takes the head off. Cold Zera, now in the 1v2, but with the bomb planted for him. You know, like, you should be able to deduce the kind of angles that Cold is in. And Chris, looking like he might have worked it out, gets on the bomb, peek from Cold, follows up with the molly, and that there should decide the round. Robs, there's nothing he could do here. It's eight on the board for FaZe. Lovely stuff from Cold. He plays that to perfection, right? From the motor smoke to fake out his deep position to even even when getting wrapped, the bomb plant of him. And, you know, he, he has to let his teammate die there, but he knows he's going to win the clutch. That's a great position. It seemed like Mouseballs didn't really realize where he was playing from either. They, they were diffusing safe from the apartments, thinking, ha-ha, we got this now. But, uh, yeah, try and, try and do it for, as far away as possible. And Cold gets it done. Keeping phase in this one. Breaking the streak of four, the mouse balls put up off the back of this orb doing a lot of work. This time, Carrigan gets caught at B. Flash to mid, double peak. Rob's looking for damage. He will peel away as quick as they appear. Now, FaZe know there's a heavy mid presence. They're going to try and deal with it. Smoke's going down deep. Rob's aggressing again off the back of another flash. Oh, there's so many players side by side with his enemy. Quick shot for Carrigan. Kiemi's close, and Carrigan's not ready for it. He's going to get taken down. Orp gifted over Chris with another one back at B. And, oh, Kiemi with the retrieved orb shuts down the rotate. They know Chris is in this site. Roki's about to figure out the hard way. And FaZe, they don't like the saves. Any more than we do, as they don't want to let Chris hold on to this orb. Brokey is just waiting patiently. It's a standoff. It's a standoff at Banana. Uh-oh. Ooh. I, I don't like it. Who cracks first? Not Chris. There's another man moving into the bottom of Banana to try and peel the attention away. But Brokey actually peeks ahead of it. And now they know this AWP is at B. Kierby's not going any further forward than this. Not until Nico is nearby.
pretty big save, all things considered, right? The money is not great for Mal Sports, and so FaZe do respect it as they've yet to build up their economy. I say yet to build it up, right? They just want enough for the last round of the half, and same story for Mal Sports. So mutual respect, everyone gets away with the guns, and Chris will at least keep this orb that he can potentially give to Carrigan if he wants. Could keep it for B, we'll see. But FaZe, not just this one-trick pony of the, the hard B hits and, and forcing those A players to save, right? They've shown us a lot in this T side. Some great late-round decisions to rotate out when things don't go their way up top B. All the money there. Carrigan giving the orb. Chris taking a dig, but this man can do the damage with any weapon in his arsenal. Carrigan fighting all. He's got that deep Molotov. It's going to fade. He moves away right as Rain gets into the angle. And that's a fear of someone at bottom B or ramp coming down aggressively. They could have, but they didn't. And so Carrigan will never know. Good chance. Rain has been going down a lot early in ult as well. So it doesn't want to continue that fact. Right as Rain. Still five live on both sides in the last round of the half. One that I'm sure Mouse Sports would like to pick up. Frozen will like to get involved as well. Here comes the peak. Will Broke be quick enough? It seems as though yes. Yeah, Frozen, 0 and 6. <laughs> and Not ideal. 15. Like, no kills. Not really many deaths either. Well, the good news is, is that there's no saving at the end of this round. <laughs> so, you know, you go Maybe. for it regardless. Small victories. And even then, is it a victory? Or does it just solidify that you could end up dying in the retake? Look at Frozen. He's This is his round. This is where he has to go big. FaZe, they're looking like they want to wrap CT and, and go towards another one of these B plays. It's worked in the past. Frozen dropping a close one-way smoke as FaZe run through Spawn. The one round, Mouse Balls have given away long control. And now it's all on this young man, Frozen, in essentially a one-on-five. He's got to do it all, and he ducks out with the flashes going in. Tries to play around this smoke, and he waits patiently. Throws it in with one. The bomb dropped. It's Ooh. gonna get planted just in time by Rain. That round almost lost to time for FaZe. And now a four on three. Mouse Sports, the odds are stacked against them. Frozen almost won that round just by staying alive and being a nuisance at B. And not quite a second off. If a Molotov goes into the box here, these players are absolutely screwed, but there's no mollies for Maus. They've got to try and run in dry, and that opens them up to Brokey's orb. This is quite the crossfire that's set up here for FaZe, and the fact that they've got two towards the back of the site should have just locked in. Chris J falls, FaZe Clan get 10, and Maus Sports, they trail behind with five. It is going to take a monumental effort to come back here. Four mouse sports. Can they do it? Or do we head to a third map? You're gonna have to stick around to see. Save your team, be a hero. 
the cup be a star Be waiting for you Take aim, shoot your arrow It's your time to shine Show them who you are Stronger Gotta go faster Gotta get better Gotta work harder It's fight or fight now Getting it up now Go with the more Go for the goal Lead up the stadium You know how it's done Stand up This is not a bug. This is not a glitch. Your eyes do not deceive you. We have arrived at halftime at the second map of play. FaZe Clan doing everything in their power to make sure that we go to three, and they might just get their wish. They've shown up here in full force, 10 to five. As we switch over, we see them switch to the CT side. Now, what sort of response will they have? Welcome back, everybody, to the SL Pro League Season 12. With me, Harry and Hugo. My name, Trace, Sarah, Anthus. Nice. That's, I've been waiting to use that one all day. <sighs> well, you used it at the right time because there's not a lot going on in this game right now. It feels it a bit is. weird. FaZe with some great calls on the T side, but it's actually just forcing saves yeah. round after round for Mouse Sports. Seven out of those 10 FaZe rounds were saves from Mouse with with two to three players surviving. So, yeah, this has been a, a walk in the park thus far for FaZe. They've been having a very easy time of it. But this is where Mouse Sports, you know, they can put that shoe on the other foot. Just like what happened to them back on Nuke, where, you know, we, we had the, the, the script flipped, as it were. Look at Nico. Look at, he's tucked to the corner. I imagine he can hear the footsteps up top B, and, and that's somewhat what this position is. But also throwing utility towards B is going to be needed. He'll have no info, no prior notice. Cole with a quick kill in mid. Carrigan just bails back. He moves to join his team. Oh, he gets spotted on the retreat as well. Now Nico knows it's coming. He can drop his smoke and try and stall this execute as the utility comes through. Phaser chasing it, flanking mid. Carrigan just trying to stay alive. He can't do it. B is lost, but FaZe have gained a two-man advantage. They can retake. No saves today. Rops is trying to get cute with this smoke, but... With two players here, he is going to be hard pressed to find anything. It fades and wow. Nico hides. Sweaty. You'd hate to play against him, wouldn't you? He's still got a full belt of utility. That's a bit of a double edged sword, though. Nico is the last man you want dying. And unsurprisingly, Nico don't die. Then he does. BMAS finds him, doubles up. Oh, uh, Rishay, no one's even looking. Oh, Coldwell in with one and almost the double. It's down to the 1v1, but the time is ticking away. And without that precious kit, BMAS can just hide and play the timing. Cole, it's a nice try, but BMAS decapitates him. And Mouse Sports, they get the pistol as they look to recover here in this second half of Inferno. BMAS the king, man. He absolutely shuts down that deep CT setup. And again, it's like an example of FaZe playing things like absolutely perfectly, at least like you could argue, right? Just falling back, playing safe, keeping numbers up, waiting for the banana flank. Nico not giving up that kill until he absolutely has to. And then BMAS mows him and Brokey down in spawn. Chris gets another one from the back and that just draws the attention enough enough for B Mass to trade and clutch. So yeah, weird rounds all around this series, but it's certainly making for an entertaining game of Counter-Strike. Carrigan up top B flashed forward. Nico's gone. Yeah, be still here. Maybe not for long. Carrigan gets him through the smoke. Now do you want to run through that? It could be a stack. Carrigan does not care. And luckily it is clear. Cold. Ooh, catches Robs. It's not much of a loss, though, with only a UMP going down and the spam through the smoke. Hey, what's the time? Anyone got a watch? Uh, Jane time? That's it. Knew it. Sorry, man. I didn't mean to hit the punchline straight away. It's the only thing I could think of. And yes, that is correct. Phase clan, save clan. They're going to have to back away and reformulate. Don't hey. even know if that's a word. That sounds like a word. 
As long as it, like, you know, you can make up your own words as long as people understand what you mean with it. Yeah, dude, they're going to reformulatize oh. here in this follow-up Formulatize. Round. That's definitely not a word. <laughs> but uh, a taste of their own medicine, perhaps. And it's bitter. Ah, uh, yes. Bitter medicine. Thing childhood nightmares are made of. Find a tap. No good. Bonus for mouse sports as well, right? Like they save a lot of money. They don't have AKs. And so faster rounds expected here until the AKs come through. FaZe do still have stock. They do still have chances to make these ones interesting as Nico's dropped the Deeg. Cold keeps the UMP. And Brokey's still got a scout to watch out for. So FaZe aren't out of the woods or mouse sports aren't out of the woods yet. FaZe can still compete in this round. And a triple B stack here from FaZe. Is that going to be enough to hold back the MAC-10s and the Galils and everything looking to come their way? Nico certainly seems to think so, but he's the only man left standing, so that belief has really got to extend beyond that one kill that he's taken in the round. Playing close to the smoke, hoping that he can just duck away once he takes a shot. It sounds simple, but it very rarely is. Flash gets him off the angle and now retreating. He's retrieved himself a scout from the deceased body of Brokey. I have it awards the top of Bernada. And if this culminates in a B plate, it might end up being the save for FaZe here to round this one out. But Mouse Sports, still a minute left on the clock. That is plenty of time for them to explore other avenues. Hearing that utility comes out, that's like an invitation Ooh. to a guy like Rain. He is you lining up a smoke, and he's like, yeah, I'll take those odds. I'll go now. Nico, the eagle, recipe for disaster. But they start to chunk him down. He does take Ooh. one to the grave with him with a nice kill onto B-Mass Cold. He might go through the smoke. If he did, he could have denied that bomb plant, but Carrigan sticking it. Even re-smoking CT. Cold does everything he can to not get hit by the smoke and give over that information. And they're going to boost the player up. Rain throwing over the smoke. Peak above it all. And Frozen just checked this, and it was completely clear. Well, it's not clear anymore. Goes back in and deals with Cold's error. And now you know that there was a second man in CT not long ago. For Rain, 1v2, no kick. He's looking to maximize damage. And... He's not able to maximize damage. It's going to be around for Mouse Sports. Yeah, honestly, they might even just upgrade these guns, right? They're rich right now. And yeah, okay, keep the Galil, but UMP, eh. So let's see what Mouse Sports want to do. I mean, you could send it on a lurk in the apartments. That's a, a good spot for it, or even the fast B entries. But you know, FaZe is going to be well armed. And Mouse Sports don't have a big buffer of rounds to, to take risks here. FaZe is still in the lead despite this 3-0 start on the T side for Mouse Sports, forcing saves for FaZe. Orps out for Brokey as well. We do keep the UMP. It's on Frozen. Two and eight. I've never seen someone two and eight on round number 19. It's impressive. Yeah. Then again, I mean, this did start off in a weird way, right? I mean, what, we were five rounds in and there were no frags to be had for, true, yeah. for Mouse Sports. No deaths to be had for FaZe Clan. Ripley's, they can't even believe it. Orps on short. I was taking a nice slow approach to this one. Phase are giving them the room, but not for long. By the looks of things, wanting to retake B, and yeah, B is waiting there as the smoke molly comes through. Carrigan's gone from the round in an instant. Frozen could look to retrieve his gun, but with that re-smoke from FaZe, he's scared that they push through with it, and they haven't. That will just send Mousebits funneled back into this orb. Brokey's waiting, and oh dear, the cracks are beginning to show FaZe with a stellar hold here on this A site. Cole waiting on the smoke. The flash is going to come through, and it won't get him right past the sideline as Rops gets caught getting into the cubby. Two up for Mousebits. Almost an impossible round. Yeah, especially with Frozen still donning the UMP. All these guns have fallen just out of reach, and so he's kind of a walking target. Cold Zera. Only good for one, but it's B Mass all alone to try and ace clutch here. And if that doesn't tell you that it's too far gone, I don't know what will. It's going to be 11 on the board for FaZe as they re extend this lead. Yeah, nowhere for old B Mass to go. 
terrorists win. He goes anyway. Fun, useless fact. Yeah. Someone from my hometown named Hunter Bemis. Useless, the most useless fact you'll hear all day long. Kind of cool. That guy's a legend. Yeah. You don't need to know why. Almost so that dude legend. in the top right? That's actually him. I'm surprised <laughs> he's here, but that was him in the trifold hat. That was him. Wow. What a laugh. <laughs> wow, man. Hunter Bemis, dude. Pleasure to have you. <laughs> That's not actually him. I know. Still kind yeah. of funny nonetheless. Look just like him, though. Twins. Yeah. Chris J and Frozen moving over here towards the top of middle. That was a big gap in this smoke, and Kirby tried to exploit it. Karen has moved through, catches that smoke at his feet, dribbles it up banana. Passes it off, Cruyff turn. <laughs> I'm kidding. What do you know about Johan Cruyff? I don't know anything. Bob's just asking if you knew. Nah, but I don't know anything either. I don't know anything about nothing, Trace. <laughs> nice. Top mid control taken by Mouse. One thing I do know is there's only two players here for FaZe inside of this A site. Those are facts. These are things I can tell you. 100% correct. And getting down into the pit is Rops. Ready to face off against Raid, but before he faces off, he's got oh. to take faces off, and Rops is only good for one. Bmas now dealing with another. Nico with the spray down. We're into a two on two. It's very messy, and Rain okay. caught by Chris J on the long wrap. Kirby left in the clutch. A 1v2, and he had a chance there to find Carrigan, but he's just missed the timing. Flash goes high. Chris dodges it by staring at the floor, and now Kirby. Not being given anything here. Carrigan has just disappeared. Crossing now. Spotted again. But still not giving this fight up. Just toying with Kirby. Making him waste time. And there's Chris, the man who won't miss. Solidifying it with three and locking in a ninth for Mouse. I love that trade work for Mouse, right? Just the layers of attack on long. Even though after Robs gets that kill, he gets immediately traded and Rain has a very good position in the pit. He's not expecting Chris to come out late from that position for some reason. It was calmed, surely. Chris traded Nico after that double spray down happened on Arch and Rain just gets caught switching between positions out in the open. If he tucked in and, and stayed alive, that almost certainly could have been FaZe pushing it over the line. Instead, it's then broken. Carrigan smoking, expecting a Molotov, but nothing comes through. And he can also go above the smoke in the logs, but FaZe dropped one of their own, and that just denies any presence here for Mouse. It's not a worry, though. Limited utility, almost no weaponry, and plenty of time for Mouse Sports. Yeah, and that's why they call this one the old Classico. 100%. Look at this, Nico running down, just saying, you know what? I've had enough of this round already. It's just begun. Let's get it over with, boys. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Oh, no. Sports with the banana positioning and presence. Cold Zera will eventually just immediately almost get traded out there after landing a headshot onto Kerrigan. So let's see how this one pans out. Harry. Yeah, Brokey's got the deagle and he's holding for this push. But he's got to go absolutely huge. And the first man gives him a fight. Rain going to find it through the smoke. Tries to barrel on in. And it doesn't work out for him. So 10 on the board now for Mouse Sports. Still a little ways away from having us believe entirely in the comeback. But it's definitely looking doable at this point for Mouse. You know, they went from being what? 7-1 down over on their T, uh, over on their CT side, rather. Having to just go for these back-to-back -back saves, getting completely and utterly dictated to by FaZe, to now a pretty recovered scoreline. And this is where, you know, you can draw even more parallels between this performance now and the one prior on Nuke. Carrigan going to drop a Molotov at the bottom of Banana. I think he was expecting the smoke and got the nade instead. What a restraint on Mouse Balls right now, with the exception of Carrigan, who's just yeeting up Banana every round. Everyone's playing significantly safe over in middle. FaZe haven't uh, yet offered any aggression. That took Mouse Balls some time to start putting together on their CT side, but it did net them results with Rops pushing down middle, supported by Carrigan's orping in ult. Quick smoke down towards B, keeps FaZe here, but it's not where the hit looks to end up. Bomb getting retrieved by Carrigan. 
Maybe maybe it will. Maybe it won't. But no, it won't. Master Boss, they leave B Master on his own to lurk as the rest of them head up towards the top of A. Mid is conceded. That smoke will fade. Soon Cole doesn't wait for it to fade. He finds Chris through it. That's going to throw a spanner in the works. That's going to uproot the plan of Mal Sports. And Brokey's still here on short to put up a beat in. He's flashed, but he still takes the shot. Rob's had a chance, but not taken enough. Mal Sports doubling back, bailing towards B, where B Mass has been holding. Nico looking for a smoke spam of his own. He might just get it. Yeah, Kirby's still a utility as well. He's dropped all that in now. And Mouse Sports, this push has grinded to a hole, even though their utility has gone in and it has forced these players to reposition. That smoke molly combo slows them right what? down. It's Frozen and Carrigan dealing with both players in the site in a very timely fashion to get this back into a two on three. And maybe, just maybe, they can salvage something from this, oh. but losing Frozen at Banana leaves Carrigan in a very rough spot. Brokey's going to land the shot. And with that phase, they just about stay afloat. 12 on the board now with three players staying alive. A bomb plant there for Mowers means they can invest into the round ahead. But it will be lacking on someone like Frozen. Yeah, this is where things started to fall apart, right? Without that kill, it would have been a very different round for Mal Sports. Rob's had a chance, fully flashes Brokey, but just delays the shot and hits it to perfection. Rob's even crouches into the bullet to make matters worse. And Mouse, they make the best of a bad situation with two entries on B, but FaZe, no saving today. They get a clean retake in. And even though the money's a little battered and bruised, it's still there with three alive. Getting back in after back-to-back -back rounds for Malsports. That's what it's been, right? Two for Malsports, one for FaZe, two for Malsports, one for FaZe. Or Malsports keep the streak up and respond with a couple of their own. Or do FaZe finally have a grips on the CT side? Nico, very vocal. Some ideas here for FaZe. Maybe we'll see a more proactive uh, start to the round. Carrigan's on a tech, so money really is dripping dry for Mouse Sports in this one. Three on B, FaZe looking to throw that utility right down Banana. The AWP is here as well. He masked with the spawn, drops a molly at car. It's going to get flashed up by Chris. Might just be a hard BX tech for Mouse Sports right now, looking like the object of their desires. And it's not like FaZe have rotated a man out. They've still got this triple stack here. So with the Molly coming back in, the re-attack of Banana, BMAS is forced out by Utility. And that's a great little play from FaZe, pushing him into the AWP. Brokey wins the fight straight up and now can rotate back round, knowing that regardless of what happens, whether Mouse Sports uh, commit directly into B, FaZe still have two players on defense. And Brokey, because he's not playing for long, he even has a short rotate back to this site. Yeah, that rotate should be coming in shortly. Mao is still keeping it low and slow. Kirby also still with a full belt of utility here. He's been very, very good at keeping this until late in the round. And having three players over at B has only strengthened that resolve. Smoke now goes down. Oh, no. Nico, things are heating up a little bit too much for him. We'll get froze out by Frozen. And now Kirby back at the site. They have to check this. They have to be ready for it. Kirby trying to go on a tear. Oh. And he almost doubles up. But Carrigan just getting the better of him. Now, him and Frozen are both very, very low on HP. Brokey. Looking to go through the smoke, but he comes to regret that. Gives away the advantage. And so now, in spite of these two players being low, it might even just be the body count yes. on Mouse Sports that denies this retake. You look at the map, you see three versus your two, and they outnumber you. And you can just see the posturing there from Rain. You can see his icon just turn, and you know what? You know what he's saying. You know what he's wanting. He's going to get it. They're going to save it. 11 for Mouse Sports, 12 for FaZe. What happened to Brokey there? Did he get flashed by his teammate and, and blinded? He ran halfway through the smoke. He took a shot, then he doubled back. Maybe he tried to kill the close coffin player, but it was covered by two more. Mouse Sports, they get it done. That looked like a, a stellar hold, or at least the start of it. Nico doing damage. The Molly's coming down late for Kierbi. He gets one. He almost closes the kill to Carrigan, but the jumping Tech 9 in his face. And Mouse Boss, they've been good at these post pass, right? Once they get the bomb down on B, they have, they've been pretty nice at locking it down in most occasions. There's immediately 
around back for Mouse right after FaZe pick up one. So their money is not going to be pretty. They've got to buy. They have to. Only two surviving in that previous round as well. The scoreboard continues to be weird. Kiebi 7 and 15, Frozen 6 and 11 has brought it back somewhat. Karen Cold topping the charts for either side, 20 and 12 apiece. Karen, he's got the orpa on the T side as well. He's not just a defensive orpa. Maybe hard to wield it in this half, and especially with how we've been seeing him take Banana aggressively in some of these rounds, he's now going to have to start calling differently as thing, times are changing, things are moving, and FaZe have an AWP of their own once again on Brokey. No armor behind it. Carrigan v. Brokey, definitely an interesting head-to-head. -head. Oh, they're going to run boost Brokey over. Ooh. No one here. Flash goes off, and that there is Brokey resigning that mid-peak. I mean, just think about the economy situation here for FaZe if they lose this round, right? It ain't going to be fun. Especially if they lose all the guns. Mouse ports, well... Very conservative approach to the map control here early on. Bemis is going to try to get out in front of them on Banana. Flash is able to clear up at least towards car. He doesn't know if someone's sandbag. They're three deep on banana as it is. Arch the real vulnerable position. What? They're gonna flash right into Brokey's face. Like I don't think that it could have landed any more square onto his face. And yet he still got the tag. <laughs> is a tag. <laughs> no? He's rotating back as well with that info he got from top B being clear. FaZe now know that it's likely an A hit. Even sneaking is Nico. He doesn't want to give up a position by running in this freeway, but Mouseports are going fast. They're going speedy double pit setup. Probably not expecting it. Why is it all so clear? No one in the sight. Now, Cole goes unchecked, but BMAS has his number, dropping him with only nine points of health remaining. Brokey's tag did not finish the job, and now FaZe, they can't finish the job. They got a save. What a surprise. I've not seen this one before. Wow, what is the strategy? We've never seen anything quite like it. Oh, dear. You've they got to do what you got to do, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're going sure. into 12 12. You're, you're really getting in the later stages of what could be a map loss, which would result in a series loss. Yeah. Or phase. That's the thing. I, you know, joking about these, these saves, I don't disagree with any of the saves we've seen in this game, right? Like every save has made perfect sense as to why both teams are doing it. It's just very unfortunate situations that they have to be left in these safe spots. It's down to their anchor players not getting enough kills, not putting up enough of a defense. You have a double pit setup, but Cold is swinging out so early to trade. I feel like the longer he lasts in that position, the more effective it, it, it is, right? The, the less mouse sports start to consider it. But BMAS, because he's late from B, he's running up short, looking up here anyway. And so Cole just peeks right into his crosshair and immediately dropped after just a couple of FAMAS shots. So 12-12, the necessary save for FaZe, but they've got to have results behind it as they look to buy in. Not fully committing, keeping 2K a player. 12-12, boy, has this one closed up. It was a 10-5 half after FaZe's T-side. Mouser looking to one-up it. Oh, missed shot from Ooh. Carrigan though, and Cole does not forgive those. Man advantage out of the gate for FaZe in a round that they don't have much leaning their way in outside of the weapons that were saved and that four sport MP9 on Cold. Now Carrigan having a lead from beyond the grave. Kirby getting himself up onto the half wall and that allows for a four man stack in this A site. If Mouse Sports try and lean into this late, they are walking into even odds. Yeah, he gets all these info from the jumps as well. And with no AWP available for Maus, Karagan dropped early. It's not a risk anymore. Unlikely someone hits that with the AK. Still possible, but unlikely. And up B they go. Now they rotate back for Nico. Kiebi has one Molotov. Will he stay alive to use it? He's tucked sandbags right now on top of it. 
It's a good spot, but if he gets flashed out, it could be problematic. He's so blind. He drops. They've got him trapped. Bemis waiting, uh, and Kirby peeks out to his own death. The Molly comes in late. It doesn't matter. Rops has the mid rotate, and he oh dear, he catches rain just about. Mouse balls can back. They can double towards A, and oh no, Faze have not read this one. Cold's clear mid. He's about to get all this info, but it could come out him the hard way. Great spray doing damage to the second, but frozen trades. The orb is posted. Brokey stops the cross, but he can't stop the bomb getting into the site. And now Faze, they've got a retake and a two on two. Yeah, they're going to give it a go with Brokey already here and the rotation coming in from Nico. There needs to be someone to step up for FaZe if they want to get this round over the line. BMAS here, locking down short side. He has been delivering on this T side of play. And Nico now, the ultimate boss to face, but he goes into the apartments, playing this slow. Our oh, FaZe. BMAS turning on a dime, locks in the round, and it will be the save for Brokey. 13 now for Mouse. There was the time in the beginning of this game, Mouse Sports went 0 and 6 down. It was 7-1 there in after and 10-5 at the half. And now they sit in the lead for the first time in this matchup. They're the ones in pole position. This lurk was perfect as well. Even though the spray wasn't, the result was there. Uh, and Robs was able to catch Rain pushing down mid. Mousepot's almost walking into a stacked bomb site as well off the back of Kiebi calling for rotation. And he had that Molotov to stall as well, but he gets stuck at the sandbags. Mousepot's flash their way back up and clear his position. And it doesn't, the Molly doesn't even matter, right? Because Mouse don't go B, but instead, Rain caught an aggressive move. Cold's going to try and do the same, but to better success, he's top of the board right now. And he's caught Rops. Oh dear, a lot of damage. That Molly in mid is not there. Frozen's not going to peek to trade, but he will wait. And Cold comes his way. A free early kill for Mouse Sports. Chris gets another. Rain finished off. And Nico Molly has oh. to go aggressive. Can't hit the jump onto the wall at such a quick calamity. Carrigan waiting in the smoke. And he's got his number as well. This is falling apart for FaZe at wow. the seams. And Mouse Sports in a four on two after Brokey hits that shot. He could follow up, but no rush for Rops as the bomb backs up and it's already cleared B bomb site. Yeah, too much of this individual smoke push type scenario right here, especially for a round that hinges on the game. Kerrigan lighting him up that round too. Yeah, even getting the free up AWP upgrade as well. He's going to be feeling very good about that. No money left for FaZe. They're in this awkward spot where you kind of had a, have enough to buy, but then you also kind of don't. Like, you don't love it. But sometimes it's not about loving it. It's just about doing it. And that's the, uh, that's the question. Are they going to commit to this investment on the FaZe side? They will buy in somewhat. It's a very odd little mishmash. Nico with a hero orb. Deegs and a P250. On everyone else, Nico needs to get some usage out of this AWP now. He gets flashed off the top of Banana early, and so that AWP's location has been teased to Mouse Sports. Yeah, he instantly wants to switch it up. Look at him running back towards A. But Mouse Sports, they're not deterred. They're not scared by the presence of the big green, and they're going to commit to B by the looks of things, or at least take that control. They don't have to run the gun. Oh, no. Back they go. Into oh, Nico, no. Who swapped out with Brokey. Hello. Oh, back on the scene. Carrigan versus Nico. Brain v Brain. Woo! And Nico comes out on top in the head to head. Now they see this AWP again. They're thinking, how many AWPs do they have? How have they done this? What's happening? They try and get out into the top of mid, but in doing so. Oh, no, wait, they changed that. Oh, wait, no, 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 wait. Hang on. Oh, no, wait. No, they do change their mind this time around. <laughs> Mouse boards. Back down towards the base of B they go. Rop's going to be left on this lurk, but they have been ready and waiting now for him. He's been doing it. Time. Oh, the timing Ooh. couldn't be worse. Rops, he's somehow got by. Cold holding close, but Rops sees an arm and he takes a leg. Now the round into a four on four. Now Sports trying to get into this B site and ready and waiting to keep him at bay. It's Brokey and Kirby. Having to try and fight this one with only Deagles to tide them over. Brokey's gone. Kirby all alone. Been pretty quiet this game. If there ever was a time, it's now. But frozen in time is where he finds himself. And this B's site now belongs to Maus. Nico gonna have to save this AWP. And even as he tries to hold on to it, remember that man who's so good at keeping his cool is all the way back in the apartments, ready to try and deny that AWP. Robin ready for some robbing as he wants to take these guns away from FaZe. 
It's just moved back to Boiler. FaZe have entered the A site. His timing is gone. They're considering it. They knew he threw that lurk app smoke earlier in the round. And Rops could come back to it as FaZe cross into the apartments. One man will. Nico comes late. And, oh, dear. He just missed it. Robs has no idea how close he is to these CTs, and I think they might get away with their guns. If they kill him, that's an upgrade for them as well. Boom. Big kill for Rain. A free AK-47. It's not like the money isn't there for FaZe, but getting that upgraded gun and saving your own could be big in the future. Goes from robbing Robin to throbbing Robin as he takes one to the dome. Throbbing Robin now. Well, Let's be confused with Robin Thick. Totally different Robin. This one's way cooler. Yeah. Yeah. No pun intended. Well, double orb for FaZe. They've they put all of their eggs into this basket. Mouse sports. That just sounds like an efficient way to transport your eggs. What's yeah. wrong with that? Nice oh time. dear, Nico. How's he alive? He just takes like a hundred. Oh, well, oh. there you go. Never mind. He's not alive. Don't worry, guys. Back on script now. Five on four. FaZe up against it. And Kirby gets caught trying to retrieve the orb. Cold Zera here, the man to try and make a difference, but he gets hunted down. And Mouse Sports, have they done the full recovery bye, bye, bye. from 0 and 6 down? to 10-5 at the half, to now map point with the bomb planted in a four on two. Mouse Sports might be about to 2-0 phase with their brand new roster. Brokey oh, burns yeah. to death. 